Dion Double D Douglas is renowned for his course management and shot accuracy. He's a tough competitor on the Legend Tour. wanted to do. Next on the team, Dion Double D Douglas. Should be able to make birdie here. The birdie will help here. It usually does. That wins the hole. A short par 5 during resort play, if you find the fairway long off the tee, you might be able to reach the green in two. Another option is to lay up short of the deep bunker or barranca that's hidden 75 yards from this green. It's heading right down the center of the fairway. Right down the middle. Really pulled off a couple of great shots to get on this green. This is definitely a makeable putt, don't you think? Stench of greatness, not. That was for Birdie. A slight draw around the corner of this dog leg left leaves you in perfect position for a short pitch to the green. If you play it safe to the far right of the Barranca, be prepared to contend with the bunkers flanking the right side of the green.
Doesn't get much better than that. Caddy, give me the sandwich, please. It's headed for the rough, but it might not be too bad. Going with the driver here, chance to get it close. There's the two iron. Dion Douglas, this for par. Should be happy about par there. Ooh, a terrific par save. A long iron or three wood to carry the long bunker in the center of the fairway is your best bet on this short uphill par four. Leave it below the hole here with your second shot and par is an excellent score at the fourth. This should work out just fine. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. All right, David. Yeah, just a little bander, Gary. Not much outside the right edge. Well, it's hard to find anything good to say about this one. Ooh, not a great effort on this putt. And that's in for a par. Gets his par. Opened for play in January of 1999, this spectacular new addition is sure to test your mettle. Designed by Jack Nicklaus, this beautiful new par 3 sits naturally upon the bluffs overlooking Stillwater Cove. The safest play is to the left center of this green. That's just incredible! It's heading for the water. Break out the putter. This one should be close. You might want to try a new putter, or maybe even a wedge or something, because this putter isn't working. Make sure to read this properly. That'll win the hole.
The best spot to put your tee shot here on this par 5 is the left center of the fairway. Your second shot is blind up the steep slope, so watch out for the two long bunkers on the left side of the landing area. There is a signature cypress tree right behind the green, and it's a good target to aim your second shot at. Flying to the right. Unless I'm seriously mistaken here, that'll be on the beach. I can't be certain. But this looks like it's heading for the rough. Again, this is a nice lie, if you happen to be a sheep. Not a great swing there, this could be heading for the rough. Just incredible! I'm not sure what happened there. That's a bogey. That puts her up by three. There are no words that can describe the seventh at Pebble Beach, the shortest and possibly the most beautiful hole in championship golf. Knock down a short iron and keep the ball from ballooning in the breeze. Take a moment to soak in the beauty of your surroundings. I see the ball and I see the sand and I think soon you'll see the ball in the sand. This should be close to the flagstick. Miss this and you're looking at a bogey. This is for birdie. Oh, that's gotta hurt.